Hey guys, Danny Johnson here and just want to tell you a story of what's going on here recently. So this is a 2001 Ford Mustang Bullet GT. And so they made the bullets in 01 in three different colors, Dark Highland Green, which matched the movie. And then they also had True Blue, which my brother has one that's supercharged and built, very nice car. And then they also made them in black. And so the first time we ever saw a bullet was when uh, somebody who was in our neighborhood who owned St. George Ford bought one brand new in 2001. And we were wondering why he was driving a Mustang with no rear wing, no fog lights. And uh, anyway, we came to know the car and love the car for what it was. We were 16. We just got our licenses. We had V6 Mustangs. So this car was uh, completely awesome to us uh, for what it was. And so we grew up and that car meant something to us because we uh, you know, were researching what a bullet is and what makes it what it is. And so uh, it's a really cool car. And so these pictures that I'm showing you are pictures of the actual car. Uh, it went for sale years ago. Somebody had bought it. it. went for sale a few times, but we followed it. It uh, showed up in town. It kind of stayed around. And so this is the actual one, and you can tell that it's that car by how the owner had taken off the GT badge, and in the hole where the uh, badge would go he put a casing for a, a bullet and then got the lettering from the trunk and put bullet on both sides and so this car was really special to us we went to st george ford when they were still new on the lot and we would find other green ones and black ones and we were wondering why they didn't say bullet on the fender and it was just because you know the owner had done that uh, so these pictures are about 10 years ago when the car was parked on the side of somebody's house we had found it went and knocked on the door talked to them about it and when we opened the hood definitely was the car because it had the Vortec V2 on it that uh, the original owner had put on it. And, you know, we loved uh, riding around in that car, especially uh, as the owner would talk about it. He, he called it a nine pound supercharger. We, see, we didn't know that that meant nine pounds of boost. We didn't know what that meant. So that's how new we were to cars and everything like that. And so anyway, the car has some ties to it for that reason. It has some sentimental value. And uh, would I like to have a bullet? Yeah, I, I would one day like to add one to my collection but of course there's other cars i would have before that and i've kind of proven that with my terminator and my mach 1 and even my old 01 mustang gt that's the same year so my brother ran across this car years ago up here when they were doing an autocross and as you can see they've added a rear wing to it the dealership did that not the person but uh, the car has been run pretty hard its whole life you know it's been it looks like it's been cared for as well. It's really not too bad, although if you look at it, uh, the fenders are scratched up pretty bad. So it has some flaws. It's not, you know, collector car perfect and, uh, you know, would probably need some paint correction and some work. Um, and uh, the owner had put SC435 or Supercharge 435 on it. And so that's what it uh, used to say on it. And that was a guesstimate of its horsepower. In this picture, it has the SSR GT3 wheels on it, which looked pretty good on that car. I like the bullets anyway, but one of them was actually cracked from somebody hitting a curb, running away from cops with it uh, when they lent the car to a friend. Long story. My brother has uh, full details on his channel, so I'll put that in the description. But anyway, needless to say, this car came up for sale. My brother found it, as usual, as he's always looking and so I went to great lengths to actually try to get this car back, including offering more than what I really feel the car's worth. Uh, it still has 55,000 miles on it, so that's not bad. When I saw it parked in the side yard here, it had 20,000 miles, and I had an opportunity to get it for 13,000. And, uh, you know, that was 10 years ago. I had just bought my Mach 1. I was, uh, you know, getting into a house and everything, too, so I really couldn't... Uh, afford to get it. I, I tried, but I, I couldn't get it. So anyway, I found myself now in a position where I could offer for it. He was asking 18.5, which is to me, that's just too much for a bullet for a GT. And see, most people, this is a 21 year old green Mustang. It happens to have a supercharger on it, but that's about it. Uh, the only people who really care very much about this car would be my brother and myself because we have some sentimental attachment to it. It meant something to us growing up. And so I think I had offered the kid the strongest offer that he would likely get for it, especially being that it wouldn't uh, require a loan. I wouldn't come tire kick it and point out the scratches and try to talk him down or anything like that. 
I was a, a very serious buyer, but uh, I went up as high as fourteen thousand, and uh, he he said no. He wanted it, you know, sixteen five. I think was the lowest he came down on it. It did come with other wheels, which I offered for him just to keep and get me the car cheaper. But he didn't want to sell those, so he was just adamant that if he's going to sell it, it was going to be you know sixteen five at the lowest with me coming and getting it, uh, not meeting me anywhere for the car. So. Anyway, that's uh, kind of the story, but let me know what your thoughts are. How much would you pay for this car? Uh, we drove some 5,000-mile ones around, which were beautiful, you know, really nice for about that price. And so it would be hard for me not to just go get one that's mint condition, brand new, low mileage, uh, if I was going to get one. You know, this one spoke to us a little bit for being sentimental. But uh, anyway, I had to make the decision, too, that, you know, as much as I like it and as much as it means, we have to draw the line somewhere and I'm not going to pay more than the car's worth in my opinion. Otherwise, I'd just go get another Terminator or Mach 1 and have new memories with that one. So anyway, let me know your thoughts and what you would pay and what you think it's worth. Thanks, guys.